Hello guys, this is Leo Tools. I came to Otoito again to show you guys uh, better uh, details in the shop. So let's get inside the shop. So if you come in uh, on the right, uh, there's uh, dyes and uh, leather care products. Uh, see, it's a uh, mink oil. It's a uh, Renapar again, and some alcohol lamp and zipper. Uh, lubricator. It says from YKK. It's a fastener mate. And, uh, it's a nail cleaner. It's a leather cleaning uh, product. And then if you come to this section, it's a raw pulse batik. It's a water-based uh, dye for leather. It's from Seiwa. And uh, waxes and tokonos. Again, it's uh, the price is uh, 540 yen, and uh, it's a clear and smooth burnishing gum for leather. It's uh, from Craftshaw. This is from Seiwa. This is Craftshaw. Some brushes, and this is uh, the colors for the leather carvings. So I think you can also do the acrylic paints. It's a uh, Columbus color. Now, and this is. Basco uh, edge paints. Uh, you can finish your edge. Uh, this one is uh, like a. It's if you live in Asia, you know what this is. Uh, there's a tip, sponge tip. If you unscrew the cap, and you can apply the coat very easily. Um, they sell the replacement uh, tip at the back, so I'll show you. And so this is the edge coats, and some of the hardwares. You can also find these and. Uh, so the lower section is small punching board and uh, dividers, edge bevelers. Yep. And some of the sponge sandpapers. Do you know what these this is? Guys, I want to show you. This is a sponge type sandpaper. You can finish your edge with it. It's a really fine. Just it's a super fine. Uh, it's about 320 to 600 grit, but uh, it's much smoother than, than just the ordinary silicone carbide sandpaper. Uh, this is the bamboo hera, uh, uh, and the this is funori. Again, uh, it's a 1,000 yen, and some of the template roller, uh, priced on the, about 2,000 yen to 600. Uh, last time when I did the video, I was in kind of hurry, so I couldn't show you and the you know, in the details and the price of each item. So this time I will go pretty slow. Uh, this this is a brown color. Uh, it's about three thousand yen. Some straps. It's portion compounds and some of the paints and there's an anvil and. Uh, this is silver pens with uh, divider typed holders and uh, if you see this section uh, there's the uh, other branded thread it's a king or crown thread this artificial shinyu from that craft shop and this is wax Vinimo, uh, not a Vinimo MBT. Uh, it's a Vinimo but wax, so uh, it's for hand sewing. And, uh, this is Gerba Italy. It's edge paints. It's this been used in Japan for a long, long time. It's a it's an Italian brand, but uh, it's many, many is used in Japan. The yeah, price is about 1,200 yen. Uh, there's a small spool. Uh, this is bigger spool. Okay. Some scissors. Scissors. One thousand five hundred yen. Chalky scissors. And some small spool thread. If you are doing the small, I mean, the, if you want to just want to test the piece, or you just need a small amount of thread. And this is Todoki tool again in craft I mean the Otoito. Some of the tools are sold so it's there's no it's not it's missing in the display case. 
The one you buy is the one in here. So this is not a displacement item. So if you buy, this is the one, the bare, the bare one you get. There's a price list on the sides. And here, a lot of O's. Uh, Japanese O's priced around uh, 3 bucks. It's kind of old too. Small knives. And this one is used for skiving petty. Uh, I haven't, you know, get used to those kind of knives. So I just use my skiving knife. Uh, but it seems, you know, I see a lot of... Um, the knife in the leather craft books in Japan, so maybe it works for certain people. Uh, oil bottles for your sewing machine or your tools. Small knife. This is, is punch tips. This oil has a bented tip. Okay, now on this bottom, this is a pretty interesting item. Okay. <laughs> It's priced about 6,700 yen. Uh, you have the this roller tip and plastic case. So you put your edge coat inside or the glue inside. Oh, here's the example. So there's a hole as a, like a slot hole. It has a, like a, as a, the grooves like this. So as it roll. The glue or edge coat will flow inside this flat hole, and then it will, as you roll, uh, it will sip out from the, from the space. So you will have a, like a good amount of glue or edge coats. Okay? Uh, this one is a 15 millimeter ones with, okay? and this one is 20 millimeter ones. So depending on what you're going to use. You can choose. Uh, the size comes in 4, 7, 10, 15, and 20. So you can you can choose. And uh, it's a old, it's a lacing fiddle. Yep, it's not a diamond old. Uh, you can also buy the replacement uh, bottle. Uh, sleepers. Uh, this is the old price like this. see the sides there's uh, like a natural sponge and uh, the raw edge babblers uh, this one is size 3 uh, this one is size 1 and 3 yeah. this one is 4 uh, they don't now they don't you know Ron's babbler they don't really make um, this uh, rose wood uh, cocoa bolo handle anymore uh, now it's they use a Bovote, Bovote handle, so this one is pretty rare now. And plastic folders, and uh, Ivan Skyvers, sandpaper sticks, and glue heras. So these, these are pretty nice. Uh, blue ones are nice. I think, this is just my rough guess, I think blue is the recycled plastic and the white one is uh, just new plastic. But I, I can't, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it is, but anyway, um, this is flyer type, the um, breaking iron and the plastic hammer. It's from Bessel. It's a Bessel company plastic hammer. Priced about 2,000 yen. Rulers, angles, and uh, you see the right side. There's also wooden handle and uh, steel handle and uh, you know, I like this kind of Japanese style uh, hammer. Oops. Okay. Uh, I like this kind of Japanese style hammer. It has a fat body and a short head. Uh, I like this. So I have one so maybe I will show you in a different video. Anyway, this, this hammer is more expensive. Uh, this one is 3,500 yen. Um, it's a good size for the gluing, you know, doing the hitting the, what is it, the glue sims and the threads. Uh, it's a good hammer. Oh, as you can see here, you see stitching ponies and some more threads. 
<laughs> this is waxed polyester thread. There's no company on the label. And uh, the price is uh, 4,750 yen. Uh, there's a white one and black one. It's a fully saturated polyester wax. Uh, this one is a different color, green. Lamy thread. And some of the nippy supplies. Uh, this is stones, knife, and the hands rami, pinimos, even light bulbs, calipers, some of the hardware for the swing machine, bobbins also, and the uh, CMC. I told you in the um, Sewa shop video. Uh, it's a handicraft. There's thread and some more stones on bottom there's some more tools uh, uh, it's just a uh, bolt I mean this is a cutter uh, what is it uh, S -zip. one liter okay, I'm not sure what this is okay the, this is the tool that you know you do the rivet you know, two rivet you set the tool uh, with um, you have to uh, what is it? You have to fold the outside and you have to slip, split the uh, tube. So it's a setup, setup for that. And, uh, this is the wooden mallet. Just a single piece of wood like this. Oops. Okay, just a single piece of wood with a turned handle. And uh, this one is not, not turned. Uh, this is just a sim simple piece of uh, uh, wood for the hitting the pricking irons. It's uh, 1,700 yen. It's a, it's a shirokashi wood. Usually it's used for the plane, Japanese plane. Okay. The card one, the turned one is uh, 2,000 yen. Stitching ponies, uh, creasers, and uh, that's cutter. Uh, you know, to make uh, tight cuts, small cuts, it's a uh, 10 millimeter cuts. So you just uh, it's a small cu cutters that you just uh, you pressed in and it's cut. Okay, some koba wax and the it, this is uh, Asian for the you mix with the edge coat and then you get the matte finish. Okay, and the thread, some more threads. This is Hera, I think, and uh, small glass clips to hold your leather project. I think so. Uh, this is uh, just a small bented tip uh, tweezers, tweezers, and samples for the threads. Ramino threads. Ramino threads. I've seen these a lot on Instagram, but uh, haven't used it. Uh, I like polyester thread better. So, Japan uh, lamy thread. It's a asa thread. It's oh yeah, it's a lamy thread. It's asa. It's it's a rami. So it's different from linen. Uh, and, uh, there's also chemicals in this section. If you want to see what this is, I will just uh, show you the camera. And uh, on the top shelf here is a uh, glue. This is my glue. Uh, this is Gonishi T17. Uh, I use this glue a lot. Uh, it's, it's a good glue. Bottom here. I'll just quickly show you through the chemicals they sell. Not really sure what these all do. Uh, I don't use much chemicals to my work, so somewhere about a sticker remover. I just heard that this is a sticker remover. 
Uh, so it's not actually for the leather itself, it's just the uh, stuff that you need for the leather. This is the um, water repellent, uh, it's a coating your leather item to repellent the water. And uh, there's the cutter also. You, know, you push cut the leather, it's a very thin, thin cutter. It's uh, should focus, come on show you what it is yep it's a both side ground it's a 4.5 millimeter one it's push cut all stay sale books it's a snap setters setters these are all setters dies you know the ones we to go with this you know you know dies um, i am destroying the store okay okay now these are interesting edge coats it's pretty expensive but uh, it seems well made just uh, to show you closely um, there is a, a reservoir for the edge coats and there's a copper very thin copper uh, plate is adjusting the thickness I mean the how much the edge coat is going to be uh, drawn out from the reservoir and uh, there's a groove in this um, what is it the frame so that you um, insert your leather item and you slide it in so it has a help guide for it and uh, there's a ball bearing here holding the wheel so it makes a sound from the copper so some people like this and then this one is is the one you use with the with this case and then you I think this also, yeah, this one is used with a plastic, so maybe you can replace the this plastic easier. And uh, this one also same. Yep, it's also same. It's a pretty neat item. You can, you can roll your edge like this, pushing the wheel with your leather product oh this one is kind of different uh, you pour the edge coat in the reservoir and then you roll it in the flow you know the edge coat will fill in the space like this and then you roll it and uh, you, you will get the edge coats and uh, this one is um, I bought this uh, you, you can you even do the even spacing with these uh, I'll do the review video and uh, this is some of the, some of the punches, uh, belt cutters, uh, price like this. It's pretty cheap. Uh, this one is a U-shaped one. Uh, this one is uh, like a sword-shaped one. It's in Japanese. Breaking irons, craft shop breaking irons, punches, and breaking irons, and uh, like a cork board. And some of the Japanese style pliers. This is uh, for gluing. This is for zippers. This is for also the zip. This is the rounded one. Yep. Price is this much. Can you see? It's uh, eight thousand two hundred, uh, three hundred yen. This one is uh, three thousand yen. And the pliers. Uh, it depends on size. Uh, the price is all different. Uh, if you can see. Yep, it's like this. And uh, on the bottom there is also a plier. Priced this much. The difference is the, how, how wide the mouse is. This one is 20 millimeter, and this one is uh, 30 millimeter. It's uh, wider. And this plier is for doing the um, button snap. Ah, uh, it's a um, it's a kashime in Japanese. I'm not sure exactly what's in English. It's uh, doing the kashime plier, I think. Yep. And this is creasers, creasers, uh, adjustable creasers. And this is more ambil. And uh, 
Okay, there's a customer, but, so I will just film this side first. So this is the heat sink for the replacement blades. I mean the tweezers. So if it's out of um, the heat sink is broken, you can replace this. And uh, this is all electrical tweezers. They take only one ten volts, so you need to have um, a transformer uh, to invert convert the uh, voltage. If but depending on where where the country you live. Uh, this is uh, TGS001, uh, this is GDP leather knife, uh, it's kind of pricey but uh, it has a great steel uh, with the ebony handle. Uh, some of the uh, planes, uh, ebony planes, uh, flat ones and the, uh, what is it, the bented, I mean the bolt shaped one. Okay. Japanese planes and uh, Japanese uh, thread cutters and the thickness gauge. Interestingly, uh, this plane every, everybody might interested in is cost 7,500 yen. Okay, and these cutters cost about 4,700 yen to 4,000. This one is 5,000 yen. This one is 4,000 yen. 4,300 yen. Oh, this one is 4,300 yen. This one. This one is almost... Uh, first, first one is uh, 3,000 yen. And the lower section is uh, scissors. Uh, not sure exactly the design for the letters, but uh, this is the leather craft. So, so I think this surely cuts leather. Uh, price on these like this more thread colors at the bottom is uh, usually the cheaper ones down here it's uh they cost about two thousand to two thousand four hundred yen okay nobuyoshi is all here and this one is kind of kiji uh this one is the steel is used is a uh, blue steel number one and this is a uh, blue steel super okay and the other leather knives some more economy knives and oils and the, uh, sharpening stones. Uh, some of the natural stones are here. And uh, more scissors and uh, Teflon tape for the sewing machine or the scarring machine. Okay. Now, let's. I will show you these, this section lastly. I'm waiting for the customers to clear the space. So. so anyway, so this is uh, the, the top shelf. They sell glue. Uh, it's a uh, rubber cement and diabond as a, as a bulk. So. Uh, it, it's a cheaper to buy in a can, so uh, if you use only two, but uh, you can you can buy in a box. But one thing to note that is you can't really carry them to your country if you are from the outside Japan. You know? These stuff are not allowed even in the um, in in the the checked in luggage. So uh, you can't really buy bone glue. So this is you can't really buy, but uh, if you have a way to somehow. I'll send these to your country. Uh, you could try. So this is uh, glue. This is uh, other glue. Like this. And uh, this one is also. This one is the agent that I talked to you about. Uh, you should add the these to your edge coat and. They will become mad edge for the for the these companies. Okay. And, uh, yep. These edge coats, uh, additives, and the finishers. This is Spiran edge coats and the Koba Super edge coats. Uh, sorry, this is not edge coats. This is a dye oil. I mean the um, alcohol based dye. This is the edge coats, the five in primum oil, the sport oil, so the additives.
This is oil. Uh, let it cure. So it cures the leather uh, after you dye the leather. Not sure exactly. I haven't used this, so I can't say. So this is punches. Punches. Priced about 800 yen. This is a uh, sword. This one is different from the ones that I showed you here. Uh, this is a uh, handmade punches. Uh, this is a sword shaped punch, so it has an arc shape. Okay. So that's why it's uh, kind of pricey. These are all handmade punches uh, from the blacksmith in Japan. Okay. So this is roller. This is also handmade punches. This is just a uh, round hole punches. And, uh, this is Japanese etch bevel. See? This one is actually the, for the shoe makers uh, for cutting, uh, trimming out the rubbers. But uh, also, you could also use this for the, for the leather craft, but even just the thick ones, okay? Uh, the ones you should stuff the to the frame bags uh, tools. And this one is the um, for your folding folding technique. You, this is a guide. This is a guide. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is also a tool. Okay. Pliers. Pliers. Okay. That was it. Uh, I think this time I showed you ones. Oh, did I tell you about these? Uh, this is the edge coat applicator. This is the empty one, so you pour whatever your um, edge coat is, and then you use this sponge type tip use to use your edge coats. And the tip gets worn out if, after use, so they even sell the tips like this so you can replace the tip. The price is 650 yen to the case itself is 250 yen. Kobe wax, it's a wax from Columbus. Yep, that is it. So this is the Otoito thread, I mean Otoito store. And uh, oh, Binimo MBT review coming soon. All right, so thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.